Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be on hair care, what I use in the shower most regularly, and how I dry and style my hair quickly and just for like most days, kind of vibe. I wash my hair, I reckon, four times a week probably on average. I feel like a lot of people think that you shouldn't wash your hair a lot, da da da, which I see a lot of people's points, but also I love having clean hair. It makes me feel so good. I look like a dinosaur right now and it's a vibe. Um, the reason I put this on is actually because I thought, I normally would never do this, but I thought because I'm talking, it's gonna take a longer time to dry my hair, etc., than normal. So I might as well multitask and hit my skin because my skin is breaking out a little bit. I've just come off my period for the last day and oh, I've done so good with no breakouts, but I'm having a few. So I'm having some t skin TLC as well as some hair time. Anyway, where was I? Four days a week, but I don't tend to put that much heat in it. I'll either let it air dry or like I use a Dyson. And honestly, the Dyson makes your hair so much healthier because you're not whacking a ton of heat on it. And also I don't color my hair, so I don't have the dye, etc., which makes your hair obviously a lot less healthy and obviously a nutritious diet and all the rest of it. Obviously it's always gonna help your hair and skin. Anyway, you guys, uh, I'm gonna show you what I used in the shower. Um, I tend to always do two shampoos, but that does depend. Say if I wash my hair and then I've done like a really, really sweaty, intense workout, um, and then I'm gonna wash it the next day, I'll probably only do one shampoo. But whereas if I have like two, three days in between hair washes, I'll do two. And if it's closer together, I'll only do one because it foams up quicker basically. So that's that. And then I basically tend to use either conditioner or a conditioning mask as a conditioner. I'm so glad that I've opened this video up looking like this. Also my hair has definitely changed a lot since COVID, I've had COVID. I think a lot of girls say that. So yeah, I'm just trying to get on that healthy hair. But I really also want to cut a bob. Maybe in six months time, maybe never, probably never. So this is what I just used in the shower. That's basically almost completely out and same with this one now. This is also another hair mask that I use, which is almost completely out, but Carastas is generally, obviously I do switch between other different brands and stuff occasionally. That's like my forever hair brand and shampoo that I always rotate. I really also like, I can't remember the name of the collection, but it's within the Carastas and it's the blue, it's the blue branded ones. And that's kind of my more regular ones. And this one is just one that I've been using recently, but I really, really like it. Really recommend Carastas. Like, honestly, I don't know anyone who doesn't use it and doesn't not love it. So if you're thinking, ah, oh, what shampoo to use, it'll, it's just such a lovely one. It's a little bit more on the expensive side, but you know, the hair makes you feel good. So sometimes you gotta do it. That was that in the shower, as I said, two shampoos, and then I leave the mask in for like four or five minutes, shave my legs, wash my pits, you know, that kind of stuff. And then rinse it out. But also I'm gonna show you our shower head because we have a special shower head where it means that the water comes out nicer, which is better for your hair, better for your scalp, etc. So I really recommend this as well. I'm just gonna show it to you. You get them like on Amazon, so, and it essentially just means that, yeah, it's like less harsh on your head. Also try and avoid, like I love a really hot shower, like I do, but try and avoid having like too much heat on your scalp because it's not good for your scalp, especially if you get psoriasis, which I do. I get quite flaky scalp a lot of the time. So yeah, like really hot isn't great. But anyway, if you try and let your hair air dry as much as possible and then dry it. So I'm just gonna quickly dry it. I'm gonna show you what I dry it with, which is the Dyson hair dryer. And then I go in with the air wrap. Very easy. It's gonna be a very quick, simple hair. So easy. It's really not that complicated. Also, I've never taken supplements for my hair, but that being said, the last six months, I have been taking hair and nail gummies, um, but I can't say that that's like the game changer. But obviously, like if you want to add in supplements, etc., for your hair, your nails, your skin, and, you know, like vitamin Ds, iron, etc., it's only going to help. So there's that as well. Generally with hair products, I feel like using the products from the same collection is the done thing. Um, but I really love this one, um, which is basically like a detangler, detangler, and the same as this. And also just like protects your hair and your drying, etc. Yeah, I absolutely love this one. It's probably one of my favorite ones ever. Um, it says anti hair fall, blow dry fluid, weekend hair prone to falling due to breakage. So I don't know. It just works for me. So I, before I do anything else, before I brush it through or anything, I get that and then I just put it all over 
like so and then it just means that it's kind of a lot easier to brush through and also protects i can't believe i've actually done this video with this mask on my face and then i use a navida paddle brush which i really recommend and then always start from the very ends see that i hadn't even done anything to my hair and how easy that is to brush through straight off the bat because i've put that Aristos through it and then other side again i look like what horror do film do i look like i'm from today but this just means that the glow up is going to be even better because i look like this now also this dressing gown is from skims i love it it's my favorite material and everything it just makes your bottom look phenomenal you know that material which just like subtly clings to the bum this is that really good it also has a tie inside and then this tie so there's no like woof because dressing hands don't do that and it's so annoying this one does that was a complete side note then use a set dryer with this applicator on it and then i dry upside down but mainly i try and dry my hair downward like so and then once that's basically almost <coughs> completely dry brush it through again and then you want it to be damp enough so that you can properly style it with the um, air wrap, which is what I'm about to do. I also sometimes use this um, if I want like a little extra volume. So I might just put that through the tops or all over, but I'm only gonna put that through the very ends today, but I'll show you when we get there. And this is Larry King's um, volumizing hair mist, which I absolutely love as well. But yeah, this is like a very soft look that we're going for. But get answering questions that I always get all the time with volume. So I naturally have a cow's lick, which like self-explanatory but which is see this bit here naturally it goes like up because i've got like a widget here i don't know what it's called but it's basically called a cow's lick that essentially gives me volume regardless of what i do with the rest of my hair but when you're drying your hair obviously if you go the opposite way so for example if i blow my hair dry, dry my hair that way and then i go like that it's gonna give it more oomph that way because the hair's giving it that you know I'm sure you all know that, but just in case you did not. Right, air wrap time. Also, I've just done an order for Mason and Parsons hair brushes, because I don't know if you remember, I had that pink one and I always lost it and I've completely lost it now. So I've just done another order and ordered two hair brushes, which really hurt my bank account because they're really expensive. But then I use the hairbrush every day and this one's really, really good, the paddle brush from Avida, but the other ones are just like a little bit more softer on the hair. So yeah, Mason and Pearson is that other brand. Yes, I'm also gonna start using that regularly, which I also think will really help with breakage um, of my ends. I need to give it a clean look at that. <sighs> and then I'm using the air wrap and I use this applicator. This one I'm gonna use on the entire head and it basically, this one pushes the hair away. And then I literally just section off my hair with a hairbrush, so like so. And then make sure you brush it through so that it's not tangled. And then I just flipped it up so I put some cold air through it as well. And then boom, that's what that looks like. And then with this bit, I reckon that's another two. Brush it through again, split in half, and then da da da. That one. And then this front bit, which is like a little bit shorter. And then that's just leave it like that for a little bit, and then I do the exact same on the other side. And then that's that front bit. But I will also then pro probably get the front bit again and then just push it back like so and then that bit is over and then basically let it cool for a little bit because then the curls stay longer so that's like five minutes i'll go and you know chuck this away take this off potentially and then i'll be back back but i'm gonna i thought i'd do the reveal here with you guys uh. Well, that was a real little treat on the old face. Get it into the lips. Mmm, glorious. And then you just use the excess. Just to get it into the chest and the neck. I really wish I listened to my mum more about putting sunscreen on and looking after chest and neck. 
to listen to me. Hands as well, although actually I've had old hands since I was like really young. My mum's the same, my nan's the same. We've just got old hands and my feet. Crazy wrinkly. They're just old looking, but I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to brush my hair out. Um, again, the Mason Pearson's brush I think would be so much better for this. Brush it out like so. Do you know what? I don't think I'm gonna put a face mask on again whilst doing this because face is sticky, hands are sticky, and then your hair's... It was a nice idea, you know? Nice idea. And it's not that bad to be fair. Maybe I will put it again. So, then basically let your hair fall where you'd want it to, and then always use an oil. So if I'm just gonna let my hair dry naturally, I'll just put the oil in and then leave it. And then I only need a tiny bit, but obviously depending on your hair, how much hair you have, etc., etc., it will determine how much oil you need. And some hair takes oil differently than others. Love oil, and I really recommend oiling your hair every day. Yeah, especially the ends, because that's where the breakage happens mostly. So you wanna like look after your ends. I do that. I don't want like a super volumized look this is just like an everyday keeping your hair looking together um and then sometimes i might check out the front and think mm, like what else can we do here and then i might use a bit of the volumizing spray and i'll just run that through my hands and then through the ends here and then and i'll just leave it through that and push it through with my fingers instead of brushing it. But yeah, that's basically all with the one applicator, um, which I really like. Obviously, if you want, if you do want it loads more volume, you separate the hair, you use different applicators, etc. But for me, this works quite well. And then, how nice is this? Stunning. YSL, go just under the neck and then your hair will smell incredible so you like hit the back of your neck basically so you're not getting like the perfume in your hair but it gets all in your hair and then your hair on top of already smelling amazing smells even more amazing and then when you like whoosh like that you know walk past someone and you're like Phew. okay guys um well i hope that was helpful with a face mask on like a little lunatic but it's nice to be filming again and to be back um also tip another tip always carry even if it's like a little tangle teaser or something like that always carry a hairbrush in your handbag with you so that your hair doesn't get knotty um but hopefully with those kind of products and stuff it's really good for non-knotty hair okay and also a clip we all need many clips at all times but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and hopefully that was informative and helpful as i said i don't have like a super extensive hair routine. Another way, obviously, if you want to add more volume, you can also back comb your hair a little bit. Obviously, that does damage the hair slightly, so depending on for a special occasion, etc. I would say if you want volume, leave the ringlets in longer. I see a lot of people doing. Oh, actually, this is actually really good as well for frizz. So, you know, you get those little frizzy bits at the top of your hair, or if you put a bun in or something like that, and you're like, oh, Oh my god, that looks so bad because you've got all these flyaways. Literally, look, just use that. And it's so good, it doesn't make your hair greasy. But anyway, you guys, um, hopefully that was helpful. I don't know why I'm whispering, but hopefully that's been, you know, quite calming for you. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, what else you'd like to see from me. Anyway, I love you if you are sticking around and if you've watched to the end. And have a glorious day with whatever you're doing.